Why haven't you lot started work yet? Oh, we weren't expecting yeah. Evidently. How are you doing? Fine. You? Well... All right, good. Chop, chop. Shouldn't be at home. Well, yesterday you were trying to get me out of the house. No, that's not what we were trying to do. Have you spoken to Chaz this morning? Why would I do that? Just to find out how Molly's doing. Did Jay go to Glasgow? Yes, he did. It's a good job I've shown my face then. Son, you don't actually work here anymore. Are you sending me home? No, but, uh, are you sure you're ready for this? I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. Listen, we need to speak to Chaz. I need to know when I can come round, so call me when you get this, please. <laughs> Why is she wearing that? Give Mummy a twirl, sweetheart. We're supposed to be keeping it nice for September. No, I'm in a few snapshots. You've changed your tune. Well, you wore me down. Besides, look at her. Mm. Eat your heart out, Zach Dingle. Hmm? Oh, you bang on about how clever Belly is. Our little girl's only three, and she's already won a scholarship. How impressive is that? <laughs> we don't need to brag about it. Give over. It's what you do best. Now one with both of my beautiful girls. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> Problem? Um... Declan, neither in about VIP catering. Festival's only a month off. He's left far too many things to the last minute. Um, I'll see you later, Poppet. I don't want that getting dirty. Yes, boss. Why can't you come with me? Because I'm afraid Mummy's very busy today. That's why she's still in her nighty. Ashley, if you've got a problem in taking your daughter to Alton Town... Of course I haven't. We're going to have a lovely time. How? I'm not even tall enough for the scary rides. Oh, I hope for sake, stop complaining and go and have some fun. <sighs> Thought they'd never leave. You're a very bad mother. Maybe I need to be punished. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm meeting someone for lunch. Well, I'll finish with you long before then. Mm. Oh, I, I really like to check this out. Give it to me, I'll get rid of them. And Bernice. What? Was well, that really a good idea? You're not in the most tactful mood this morning, my darling. Well, just get rid of them then. Pronto. It's not good enough. We're doing the best we can. We only reopened yesterday. I don't want excuses. This order needs to go, and I don't care if we're here till midnight. There is no way this order will be done by end of today. You're the one who was eager to get back to work. Yeah, but we're not slaves. Don't worry. Nobody's expecting the impossible. What is he doing here, anyway? It was bad enough before, but now he's like a proper nutter. He's going through a very difficult time. There's no need to take it out on us. I'm not being unsympathetic. Actually, you are. But you're his dad. Why are you not looking after him? You think I haven't tried? <sighs> Help me out this time, OK? Sorry, but he can't go on like this, can he? Look, Georgia is back today. She'll know what to do. What, now? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Do you mind if I bring Molly? No, no, fine. That's not a problem. I'll see ya. Debbie wants to see me. You want why? Didn't say. She sounded... Well, something's not right. Don't go. <sighs> She's been through a lot. You saw how she was the other day. She's suffering. What, and you're not? I'm sorry, Chaz. You can do without this. She was the last person to see Jenny. There's no way I'm turning my back on her. Not when she's reaching out to me. You're going to have to keep an eye on her. Me? Yeah, Debbie can't face her. Well, I can't. I've got to nip out. Well, if she's staying, I've got to get some nappies. Well, that can wait. What, hardly? I'm asking for a bit of support here. Yeah. I'll be five minutes, OK? Well, it's going to have to be, isn't it? We'll have to be diplomatic, so best leave the talking to me, yeah? Talking to who? Nickel, about the Grange. 
You can't start pestering him. Hey, who mentioned anything about pestering? We just want to have a friendly chat with him, nothing more. He's just lost his wife. Well, how is that our fault? If he doesn't honour our deal, we could lose the place in Portugal. There'll be other places. Uh, and what about my... De our deposit? It's only money. Uh, you want to be stuck here, do you? Look, when he's ready, he'll come and see you. We just need to know where we stand, that's all. We're doing this as much for you as we are for ourselves. Well, how much later? Because this is important. Yes. OK. Over there. Beware. I've got a NA meeting this afternoon. <gasps> You're going back? Well, you told me I should. It makes sense, doesn't it? I'm not going to beat this on my own. Well, you're not on your own. Do you want to come with you? Why? Someone to hold your hand. I'm not 12 years old. I wasn't saying that. I just want to be there for you. Yeah, I know, I know. But... Well, there are still some things I can do for myself, aren't there? Why don't you answer my calls? Why don't you answer mine? All oh, right, yes, yeah, so you call Chaz instead. Listen, I've hardly slept all night. You promised we'd tell her about us. Yeah, together. You, you go behind my back, she's going to think I haven't got the guts to tell her myself. Well, maybe you haven't. What? It's what you do, Cammy. You string me along, it's what you do. We need to tell her. I get that. Well, then. Yeah, but is now the right time? I mean, she's just lost her sister. She's a wreck, and so are you. We should wait till the funeral's over. Oh, out of what, way. another reason not to do anything, right, yeah? You tell her now she's going to be asking questions, like, like how long's it been going on, where have we been meeting? You said the wrong thing, it could come out about Jenny. I'm not going to mention Jenny. Are you sure? I mean, look at you. you... Maybe we should wait until... I rest. need to talk to her. Why? To make yourself feel better? Because it won't, OK? You're just being selfish. Don't. Debs! Seriously, not now. You wouldn't let me talk to Nicola. You're not stopping me from doing this. It's what we agreed. No-one's forcing you to stay. Sorry, it was open. Yeah, no problem. I can't get away any earlier. Well, it's fine. You, you're here now. Send someone to see you. I'm busy. All the same, if you could spare us a few moments, please. Fine. I'm listening. I hope this is good news. Sorry? Are you ready to release Jenny's body? In the next few days, hopefully. You see, we have to arrange the funeral. We've received the vehicle report. There was no mechanical failure. So it was... Definitely an accident. That's a possible explanation. Well, what else could have happened? The thing is, another witness has come forward. You've got new evidence. We really need to speak to your son. Mr Sharma. It's important you hear what we've got to say. Um, I'm so surprised you called. We can't avoid each other forever. I suppose not. I'm glad you told me. You know about what really happened to Jenny. Make you feel better, did it? <sighs> Hardly. Because if you're expecting good news, well, it's just not going to happen. You still hate my guts, don't you? I could have just lied to you. I get it to render. But you and me, we've done enough of that, haven't we? Yeah. You deserve to hear the truth. Oh, it's hard to get away from it. Well, the truth is what matters, though, isn't it? I mean, no matter how painful it is, you can't go through life not hurting people. It's just not possible. What are you trying to say? Honesty isn't selfish. Debbie, you're sort of freaking me out. Officer, you're not really explaining. This witness, what exactly do they think they saw? I can't really let you know any more at the moment. But we are hopeful that they're going to help us piece together a sequence of events. Oh, that's encouraging, isn't it? You tried phoning your wife several times that afternoon, didn't you? Uh, did I? Records show a number of missed calls including one about the time of her crash. 
Well, wh what are you saying? That, that uh, that's the reason that she went off the road? No one's accusing you of anything, Mr. Sharma. We're just wondering if there was any reason why she didn't answer your calls. Because she was driving her car. Did she seem troubled at all? Can you remember her saying or doing anything out of the ordinary? Well, if anything comes to mind, let us know, OK? Thank you. Thank you. I killed her. Don't be silly. I might as well have grabbed the wheel and steered her into a ditch. No one's suggesting that. What have I done? That dress is two sizes too big for her. She'll grow into it. We're not made of money. Oh, Bernice isn't interested in looking at that. Looking at what? Our little genius. Oh, you must be very proud. We are. I thought you had a lunch meeting. Uh, they cancelled. Right. So you stood me up for no good reason. I've come to say sorry. Yeah, well, I don't appreciate being left hanging when I'm all... Well, you know. Or what? Never you mind. Forgive me. How are you? I wouldn't put up with it. Maybe I won't. It was an important business call. I'll make it up to you. Don't I always? I'm a fool to myself. He's got me wrapped round his little finger. Can I get you a pint? I'm not stopping. I just wondered if you fancied another round of golf sometime. Always open to offers. If only more people were like you. Maybe I should hand in my notice. And leave me short-staffed? No way. Look, there was nothing wrong with that car. Stop wallowing. Oh, finally! Hey? Chaz is not happy with you. Five minutes, you said. She's had to take Molly round to Priya's. Well, where is Chaz? Gone to Debbie's. Really? Surprised you didn't get an invite. Why would they want me there? Why would anyone want you anywhere? Moody beggar. You're in shock. We both are. I mean, what you saw with Jenny, oh, nobody should ever have to see that. Why are you being nice to me? Cos I care about you. We both do. Me and Cameron, we just want to help. That's not why I wanted to see you. Please don't shut me out, Debbie. This last week, I have never felt so alone. I miss her so much. I, I miss her smile, her weird clothes, <laughs> that look she used to give me when I was getting on her nerves. She was just so funny and clever. I just want her back. I'm so sorry, Charles. No, no, never say sorry to me. Not you, after all that I've no, done. No, don't. Don't say that. I loved her so much. And I know you did, too. God, this is so tough for both of us. We're going to help each other through it, aren't we? Is that the best you could do? Not a florist. Oh, they're hardly a fitting token of condolence. What? They're for Nick Hill. How's he doing? Not too good. Priya reckons we need to call the psychiatrist. He doesn't need a quack. He needs to look to the future. <laughs> yeah, but what future? Well, this place, of course. <laughs> Not sure he's going to want to buy this place now. Well, he'd better. He's signed all the papers. Obviously, uh, given the circumstances, we wouldn't even consider saying if a breach of contract. It's not buried Jenny yet. It, that's where you come in. We don't want to go charging in all sorry Jenny's dead, but where's our money? We're not heartless. Uh, that's why it would be better coming from you. You're his friend. I don't believe I'm hearing this. Oh, come on, son. We're desperate. If Nick Hill pulls out of the sale, we do not have a plan B. You two are alive and kicking. That's plan enough. Just back off. <sighs> Your son always lets you down. Mr. 
to there. Hey, slow down a minute. I've not been able to get hold of me bloke. What? He's at a conference in Margate. I know someone else. I might be able to get stuff off her. How long will that take? Won't be today. What? She made the right noises, but I'm not sure I can trust her. I need those pills. Can't you talk to your mate? Do you think I'd be phoning you if I could? <sighs> you must have something else, yeah? Anything. Just, just give me what you've got. I'm not fussy. I'll phone you tomorrow. Stood up, have you? Something like that. You like playing hard to get, don't you? Go away. So all I want to do is spend some time with you. <sighs> Why? So you can try and seduce me into bed? Now you're just putting ideas in my head. No, I'm not. This is all coming from you. Just leave me alone. It's not really an option. Sorry. Right, then you leave me no choice. That's what I'd like to hear. Are you thick? I'm not agreeing to go out with you. Uh, so what are you agreeing to? Telling Jimmy. Telling him what, exactly? That I owe you thousands of pounds, and the only way you'll agree to let me settle the debt is by having your wicked way with me. I've never actually said that. No, but it's what you want, though, isn't it? Look, I can't do that to him or Angel. He needs to know the truth. The truth is, I took you out for lunch. It's all perfectly innocent. Oh, innocent's the last thing you are. But me and Jimmy are mates. He'll be cool about it. Why get your knickers in a twist? Oh, for the last time, my knickers are no concern of yours. A new witness? That's a good sign. Look, they'll find out what really happened. We know what happened. It had nothing to do with you trying to phone her. Son. At last. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry. Mom, please. I've been phoning and phoning. Why didn't you pick up? I've been going mad, stuck on that boat for four days. I couldn't get a flight until yesterday. But I'm here now. Where's Molly? Priya's looking after her. Oh, well, she should be here, surely. Shall I go and fetch her? Best not. Well, she should be with her dad. What? The dad that caused a mum's death. What? Nobody thinks that. I made the phone calls, didn't I? What phone calls? I distracted her and I made her crash the car. Try making that OK. Are the police blaming him? He's blaming himself. This is getting out of hand. None of us can get through to him. I want a traditional funeral, you know, Proper church thing. All the hymns. Do you think Brenda would go for it? Because well, she's not religious, is she? But, well, neither are we. It just, just feels right. Maybe you can say a few words. Obviously, if, you, if you're not up for it. Me and you, Chaz, it can't be like it was. Please don't say I that. I wish it could, Talk but... to me. Oh, come on, kid. I'm not stupid. I can tell you're hiding something. I don't want to hurt you. I'll get rid of her. Okay, I'll go. Stingle. Hi. Sorry to bother you. Is this a good time? Uh, not really, no. All the same. Can you give us a moment? Is this about Jenny? I just need to speak to Miss Dingle on her own. If you've got something to say about my sister, I want to hear it. You don't mind, do you? Can you not talk to them? Do you not think I've tried? Val, I understand, but I thought Eric was more sensitive. <laughs> Hardly. He's got form, hasn't he? Look what I did to me mum. Well, I thought he wasn't like that anymore. Yeah, well, he better not be. If he starts hassling my mate... Right. Where's my sis? Still at Debbie's. How would I know? It's really messed things up for you, this, hasn't it? What? Bringing my family together. Why would I have a problem with that? 
Because you spent the last year trying to tear us apart. Kane, I think you've played your part in that and all. 320. Surprised you haven't joined them. Or do you only visit Debbie when Chaz isn't around? I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Hey, there's a police car outside Debbie's. Is there? Yeah. Did you see Debbie or Chaz? No, no, but someone's kicking off. Hey, you don't think, um... Uh... No, how many more times you've done that wrong? I know an innocent man when I see one. So you didn't see anyone else on the road? Miss Dingle? She's upset. We both are. I, I know. But this is important. So as far as you can remember, there were no other vehicles involved. It was just Jenny. And you're positive about that? Yeah. Thing is, a new witness has come forward. So we're looking at the possibility that Mrs Walker might have been run off the road. Are you absolutely sure that there's not something you forgot to tell us? <laughs>